it also has great limitations. A $6 million plus property at least is one number. The number of condominium units that would make this a feasible project would probably make a lot of neighbors' heads spin. Uh, remember the Verizon building when we were talking about what to put there? Well, I've talked to a couple of developers and they had looked at somewhere between two and three hundred units in that building to try to absorb the cost, the cost of purchasing the property and the construction. Um, they would have been apartments, not condominiums, and if I remember correctly, the price tag on that piece of property was only two million dollars. I'm not interested in making this old historic school property a Wawa's. I'm not interested in putting a national drugstore chain there to compete, to compete with the locally owned drugstore across the street. I'm not interested in doing those things because I believe we do need to watch out for businesses. And we do need to look beyond just the property value. We need to look at the value to the citizens. The Olympia Avenue Corridor is mostly a north-south axis connecting the shops at Grove and Libby, the Patterson Avenue shops, the hospital, the Broad Street Corridor, and there's a lot of potential just past there for some large-scale dense development just north of Broad Street. I think providing jobs in this corridor makes really good sense, at least good planning sense. The expansion to the East End Hospital, the community hospital, is going to provide more jobs in an area that desperately needs jobs. And it's going to provide them in an area that doesn't just need jobs, but needs revitalization, period. Now, Bonds, of course, is a nonprofit, but they are private, and to be clear, they can pretty much take their jobs anywhere. The Redskins can take their training camp anywhere. Bringing work work areas to these residential areas, to put them near shopping destinations is smart growth and action. The one thing we're constantly being asked to do is don't make us look like short homes in the city. Don't make us look like suburban Chesterfield. We need to plan for smart growth, and that's what this uh, revitalization of the West Bank site does. It works towards bringing jobs to our residents, and it works towards bringing residents to our jobs. Let's not forget, one of the only buses that goes that far west goes to St. Mary's. There's already a bus line in place for this location. Um, I am going to go off for just a second. The site of the training facility is a good choice. Uh, let's not forget that uh, it's not city property, it's state property. We have no control over what the state does with that property. Um, it has the option to provide playing fields for our children in the off-season, which is all but three weeks of the year. When the Redskins are here, it's a free, family-friendly activity in the city. It is always hard to touch undeveloped green space. But in talking with people at the state, they've informed me that developers were drooling for this property, either for a mixed-use or just for residential. Now, I'm not against dense development. I live in one of the densest neighborhoods in the city. But to have an opportunity to truly preserve a green space in the city, the vital force to save, a significant volume of the trees will remain. The ones that don't will be replaced one for one. This is a great opportunity to keep an area open to the public, preserve the vital force, and brings jobs in terms of the new box of force study to the second district. Richmond doesn't have a great track record of bringing business to the city. We don't have a great track record of keeping business in the city. That's something that we've worked very hard the last four years as council and administration to change. It's true, the brakes are gone, the banking industry was gone, we've lost the U.S. air hub to our neighbors in the south. This is another opportunity for us to step up to the plate and My apologies for not using the football now. We have a lot of good reasons to support this local deal. And the West Hampton site is him that keeps this all together. With Chris's help, we can now move forward having protected schools CIP budget, work to increase economic development, jobs, and the ability to get to jobs. 
within the city limits. And we brought pride to our city through the residents' home. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Samuels. And quick comments? Yes. Um, Mr. Jewell, then Mr. Jewell. Thank you, Madam President. Again, uh, I think what I'd just like to reemphasize is the fact that this is an absolute uh, uh, phenomenal. This is a great opportunity, uh, and phenomenal opportunity to improve the health of our city and of our community. Uh, first and foremost, the economic health of our community through generation of additional revenues uh, that will in large part uh, increase dollars available to our schools, the uh, creation of job opportunities that will address the unemployment and poverty rates uh, in our city, as well as serving as a catalyst for revitalization of the uh, commercial corridor uh, in the East End community. It's also, uh, as I said, a great opportunity to improve uh, not just the, uh, the economic health, which will by itself be pretty significant, but the physical health and well-being of our community. We have some of the worst health outcomes in the city in my district, and uh, throughout our city, we have similar health uh, challenges, and the fact that uh, the physical health will be addressed through expanded health services, as well as focus on wellness and fitness opportunities will further improve the health uh, of our not just the East End, but certainly the East End, as well as uh, the West End and throughout the city of Richmond with the sports medicine facility, as well as uh, the focus on men's health, and again, the expanded services, both health and wellness uh, in the East End. And so I, I just really want to, again, appreciate it, uh, and recognize the importance of this, uh, this uh, this package, and I hesitate to call it an economic development package, it really is about improving the health of our community and economic health, physical health, our components with those component parts. And so I, again, I, I just really uh, must thank uh, Bob Spores uh, for the extraordinary uh, effort, commitment, and work, uh, certainly in the East End, but clearly throughout our city. want to thank the Redskins, go Redskins, uh, for uh, your uh, commitment to coming and being a part of our community, because that's what you are have signed up for, to be a part of our community and health with. And uh, I want to again thank uh, certainly city staff uh, who worked diligently along with uh, my colleagues uh, over the weekend uh, through some trying times for some of them to cope with um, uh, Mr. Tyler and family. And all others who work to ensure that we had a package that also allowed us to um, address prior commitment through ordinance to our schools relative to surplus property. So, again, thank you um, all for what you have done. But more importantly, I can't see everybody with the signs and it's like C for all that you've done today, but certainly for all that you will do really. Again, uh, work with us to improve the health of our community. I also want to thank, and I'm not sure if the store Richmond is here, for the work you're going to do uh, <coughs> towards with us relative to preserving that building and components of it. Uh, so again, uh, thank you all, and uh, look forward to Richmond being an even healthier city. Uh, and again, not just the absence of buildings, but the act of promotion of physical Thank you, Dr. Uh, Mr. Hill. Thank you, Madam President. A little history, I'll try to be quick. Uh, I'm a country, I'm a country boy from Goochland County. Uh, uh, Western, Goochland County is 50 miles long, probably not five miles wide and as wide as the point. So we lived on the western end, yeah, and we lived close to Richmond, uh, the other end, they're close to Charlotte. Uh, but Westwood was town for us. I mean, on Saturday, you go to town. Well, we went to Westwood. Uh, my grandma's doctor was in Westwood. A.M.P. store was in Westwood. Uh, as a teenager, I drove to Lafayette Farms uh, in Westwood. And um, so, West Hampton. Uh, Westwood is a part of West Hampton, which is the black community in West Hampton. Uh, so, it, Fond memories, fond memories back. 
late 90s, Richmond was disinvested in. Richmond was abandoned by corporate investment, uh, causing uh, white folks to flee from this city and right behind it not long after black folks to flee from the city. Uh, we were pretty bad shape. Uh, no, we were bad off shape. Uh, uh, to his credit, Jim Newcroft led corporate uh, in reinvested in this city, uh, late 90s uh, and early 2000. And, and so we're in recovery. Uh, now that we've got the school matter halfway straight, because we, we, we got a long way to go there, but we're in recovery, economic recovery. <coughs> And, and the buzz that's being generated from this deal is nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, uh, I've been in business all my life, and I know that you take risks. If you're going to win, you've got to take risks. And this is far better risk than the stupid things we've done in the past. With $26 million we invested in Crestar Bank, not one dime of benefit out there. Anybody show me one dime of benefit to anybody. They even brought their employees from the county, and nobody got a job out of Richmond Harley. Um, but these deals lately have been pretty sensible. Uh, we, we get a $50 million uh, renovated landmark theater for only $14 million investment. We get uh, the Redskins, the Bon Secure coming together in a, copy, in, a, in a synergy that can take us to the moon and we are, we are lending the project 10 million. Lending means we get paid back. Uh, uh, it's far more sensible than some of the things we've done in the past. And so uh, let's take a chill pill here and, and see if we can can't see the value of that kind of synergy and, and energy that will roll off of this far more than anything we've seen come through the pipe in a long time. Um, uh, I'm sort of down in the mouth on a lot of stuff that we do, uh, but uh, uh, with schools halfway straight now, we're going to have to attend the school and Next month, you'll see my last rock on this county. But you won't see the last Marty in, in this county. And so we got a lot of work to do out there. And there's some wonderful people that we passed along the way that I'm convinced we can make some real partnerships and, and begin to get serious about doing some good in the neighborhood. And, and all hands on deck are going to be necessary. So, no, old boy said. Instead of the best, five against the ten. Well, in this case, five against the ten with regard to economic development, uh, the amount of tourism, uh, the amount of partnerships that can come out of this thing. Uh, John Ludbill spoke uh, uh, earlier about uh, what they do with the sports practice and the kinds of combinations of activities that can be linked up not only with the Redskins uh, and that enterprise, but but also with the, the prospects of charitable uh, partnering that we can do in this city through foundations and, and other nonprofits. So, uh, look, uh, uh, I support this project. I'm not going to open my mouth anymore. Uh, I'm going to vote yes on this paper and the last one coming up, and we go over the other room. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. Any other comments on this? All right, call Council is voting on item number 30 for December 2012 as 214. Mr. Carter? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Mr. Gilbert? Aye. Vice President Robertson? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Newville? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Graziano? Aye. The paper has been adopted. Thank you, Madam Clerk. At this time, we're going to take papers number 26. 31 and 32 together as a block, we'll go to the second.